Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Welcome to Apogee's Rocketry Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to angle fins or put a spin tab on the bottom. Now, the reason for a spin tab is so that the rocket spins as it goes up. This allows the rocket to fly straighter, especially in high wind conditions. The first task is to create the fin. And uh, what I've done here is to create the fin pattern using rock sim, and I've just attached it to a piece of balsa wood. And I'm going to cut it out, and uh, I'm going to use a sharp hobby knife. And when you cut balsa wood, always lay the, the knife or the, the ruler on top of the balsa so that if your knife strays away, it doesn't gouge into the part that you want. So just lay it on top, and then carefully draw it backwards and cut it out. Now this particular rocket has cutouts for fin tabs that go into the, the slots. And so I do have to cut those out and put those into my pattern. And I generated this pattern using the Roxim software. If you don't have Roxim, go, come to our website, which is apogeerockets.com. And you can see here is where I'm cutting out the fin tab. Okay, and my fin is now cut out. And you can see on my pattern, I also put a line across. And this is the line where the fin is going to be canted. So I do need to cut it one more time, right there. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the paper pattern off the top. Now if you're using a kit in doing this, your, your fins might already be cut out. If you're going to, uh, to cant them, what we got to do, I'm going to draw a line down here, and I want to measure where I'm going to cut so that when I cut each fin, they're all identical. I'm using a marker. You should always use a pencil when you're making a rocket uh, because the uh, ink won't bleed through the paint then. So you can see the technique is, is exactly the same. I'm just going to set that aside for right now. Our next step is we want to fins to cant at an angle. And we want all the fins to be identical. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little cutting guide or a gluing guide so that all the fins are identical. The, the reason is, if, if the fins aren't identical, the rocket, instead of spinning nice and straight around the long axis, it's going to start to comb as it goes up. And this isn't going to do us any good. It's going to make the rocket fly a lot lower than it should. That's why we want it to be all identical. So I'm going to take a piece of cardstock, and this is some nice cardstock. And if you need good cardstock like this, uh, come to the Apogee Components website, and we do have it there. And I'm going to take a, a regular school protractor, and I'm going to measure and mark this. Let me first make a tick mark here. And on these particular fins, I'm going 10 degrees. Now, 10 degrees is way too much for fins, but it allows me in this video to show you how it's done. So now I'll just connect my mark right here. and then I'm actually going to cut it. Okay. And this is the piece that I want right here. 
And as we can see, when we put that on the rocket, it should be a good fit. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to use this to glue the fins. So just like that. That gives me the correct angle. So now I can take my glue. And let me get a piece of paper towel here. Because we're going to have excess glue. And I want to put glue on both sides of the fin. take and wipe off most of that glue. I only want a very thin film. And then we can put the two together. And using our, our gluing angle, we can check to make sure that they are right. Okay, now this is gets kind of interesting because because the glue is wet, this can actually wiggle a little bit and I can lose the right angle. So what you can do is you can build a guide like this and basically this is a little jig. Basically I, I took a piece of cardboard and I cut my angle on it the same way as I did before and then I just squared it off. I made two identical pieces and then just spliced cardboard in the middle so that I have a little platform. And I also marked where the high point is on each of the pieces of the cardboard. And when I lay this on here, I want to lay my my joint line right along that, that line. And I can just leave the fin and it can dry in this position. And that way it's, it doesn't wiggle around. Uh, one of the problems with doing this is we're going to have a gap on the fin joint because we're taking two square pieces and gluing them together and it's going to give us a gap. Ideally, we want to angle that line and I'm going to save that for the next video. But once your fin is dried, go ahead and take your glue and you can glue it into your rocket slot under your rocket. And that's how you make canted fins. So join us next time on the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. And remember, please visit us online at www.apogeerockets.com.